Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your September reading. I'm using a different deck this time and um, this is like my third recording for you guys. So I am I have the cards laid out. I'm just going to go over the cards very briefly and then we'll go into the reading. I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse position, the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Rods, the Moon in the reverse, Five of Pentacles, Five of Rods, Strength, Five of Rods is in the reverse position, the Hermit in reverse, the Three of Swords in the reverse, and the King of Swords. Okay, so um, at the center of the spread, we do have the Queen of Rods over the Hermit. And I do sense that um, what this indicates to me is at least for the first half of the month, a lot of you are reaching a point where you're realizing you can't give your power away, okay? The Queen of Rods is going to represent you as a fire sign, and it's, it can be male or female. What I'm sensing is it's um, coming into your own sense of empowerment, realizing how your role in as the active um, agent of change in your life, and as a result, you're standing firm, you're holding your ground, and despite you know everything else happening around you, it could be financial uh, situations that's got you really worried. It could be dealing with people coming back through from your past who want a, a second chance. Okay, so you are for the first two weeks, anyways. You're going to go through a period where you feel as if okay, this is what I deserve, and unless you give me what I deserve, you're not going to be in my life for relationship partners and especially on the work front for those of you who are dealing with negotiations especially salary negotiations I want you to <clears throat> I feel like you should be realistic about um, your work assignments your your work description but also be realistic about you know how much it is that you're asking for compensation I don't feel there's dangers associated with it but I do feel that whatever work environment you're in they might not be able to meet you exactly where you're at so you know uh, leave yourself open to um, negotiation on the the um, salary front okay I do feel that a period of like two three rounds of negotiations and then having everything finalized and decided on is going to come through by the end of this month at least so salary negotiation looks very good because you are projecting yourself you are giving your needs your wants and your expectations a voice and as a result you are commanding respect from everyone around you okay so it's a very very beautiful energy there might be situations um, this is especially related to family coming through for this month that I want you to be careful about okay whenever I see the five of Pentacles I do feel that this is a more of a spiritual quest but it's also related to family like I said a lot of the relationships that we have um, that are very um, important and also very karmic are with family members okay and um, I do sense that when it comes to family members, a lot of fire signs in general get a little bit too wrapped up, okay? Um, wrapped up in seeing the best in their family members and also um, not willing to to let go. Like there, there is definitely issues with power and control when it comes to children that I'm sensing. And there is also, you know, being too wrapped up living through your children and things like that that you might want to be careful about if you are dealing with children for this month and I do feel that um, for a lot of you children might be the, an air sign or even like a Virgo with the hermit card in the reverse position so once again I've mentioned this before with a lot of Sagittarius there is a very very strong karmic tie with Sagittarius and an earth sign okay and I do feel for this week coming through is I'm, I'm sensing a Virgo with this card and this is an energy that indicates to me there might be a relationship with a Virgo in your life or even like another earth sign that has been very very problematic very very difficult and I do sense there's a great deal of love involved from both sides I do sense it's coming it's not just coming from you it's coming from the other party as well but there is just so much, you know, karmic debt and emotional baggage. It makes it really difficult for you both to navigate the nuances, okay? So for a lot of you, this can be a family situation. And family situation can, can be, you know, a spouse as well or an ex-spouse because they're still family. They're still somewhat incorporated into our household. So a lot of you might be dealing with an earth sign or an air sign, and in particular, if you're dealing with an earth sign, there definitely needs to be a conversation that's um, 
you know, some type of discourse needs to take place. And I do feel you are trying to reach out, but the other person is not responsive, okay? The other person has basically is, um, they're showing up as a hermit. So I do feel that they're more willing to do things on their own, live their life like um, like every man owns an island. You know, they're, they're living their life like very insulated from the human experience. And they're also in from coming from a place where you're either with me or you're against me, but also it's like they're willing to be completely on their own rather than dealing with um, people in their lives that don't see things the way they see things. So they'd rather be on their own than deal with the conflict and the um, opposition from other people. So either way, I do feel that communication is not coming through from this earth sign and it's making it very problematic for you, especially if you're dealing with a Virgo. And uh, what's helping this situation, I do feel, is an air sign. I do feel that, you know, as a fire energy, fire and air are very compatible. And I also feel that this person is allowing uh, you to basically tone down on your passion, on your um, your need to to express yourself in a way where you really want to be heard and you really want everything you say to get through to the other person but you know they they're operating from a different place at this point so they're not really they might not be interested in what you have to say because with this hermit energy i do feel that it's uh it's somebody who has turned their back and who's not listening to reason at this point mainly because it's showing up in the reverse position it indicates to me somebody who is potentially very spiritually evolved but they've turned their back so they're, they're they've become so isolated and they've turned their back on the human experience so it's really hard to connect with them and you know in your passionate best you want what you say to be heard and to be heeded by the other side but I do feel in this situation um, you're not going to get the satisfaction from the other party okay so just um just let it go I honestly I do feel that you should let it go. The other party might be dealing with their own work issues. I do feel that if it's also on the work front, they're grappling with some uh, some type of discomfort that they're feeling at work. And they're also grappling, grappling with um, relationship situations that they themselves are going through at this present moment. So getting the response and the reception that you want and expect from this earth sign might be a little bit problematic. But once again, I was um, going off on this. What's helping you here is um, there is going to be at least, if it doesn't work with this relationship partner, there's another one coming through in the form of an air sign. And I do feel this is a very karmic, faded relationship as well. It's on top of the Five of Pentacles. And when I read the Five of Pentacles, I always feel like it's a karmic relationship that something needs to be learned, something needs to be worked out. And I do feel that... Um, if things have been problematic in the past with an earth sign, moving forward, you are going to gain traction and momentum with an air sign, okay? So for a lot of you, um, air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And I do feel that um, this is a beautiful energy. And this person is not expecting a heavy emotional relationship from you. They're not expecting, you know, one of those burdensome, like really emotionally trying um emotionally bogged down type of relationship they want something airy and light they want something a little bit more romantic and where both parties can approach this as adults and not expect and not have like unrealistic expectations for one another so i do feel it's a beautiful energy coming through they are looking at your past heartache and your pain and um they're going to, they're telling themselves, I'm sensing, this air sign, he or she is telling themselves that, um, okay, I, I know what you've been through, we've all been there, so let's help one another get through it, is what I'm sensing. So it's a really beautiful, mutually um, beneficial relationship, and it's also in the spirit of advancement and progression. I do sense that this is a very, very suitable relationship partner for you. I also want you to know they themselves have overcome a big hurdle in their lives. Okay, they've overcome a lot of heartache as well. And they're looking back at it and they're like, I'm learning from this. I'm going to be a much stronger person as a result of it. So I'm not going to let it get to me. Okay, so it's a beautiful energy. Even though it's a, um, 
even though it's um, showing up as a king, I do feel for a lot of you, this could be male or female, and I do sense that this is when you've met your match, okay? This is somebody who is going to be there for you through thick and thin, and who might be able to help you in terms of um, in terms of getting through the the struggles, the whatever slump you're in, if you've been in a situation where you've dealt with an earth sign and you got your heart broken, I do feel this is a, a person that is going to restore your faith in relationships in general, okay? This card also comes up as an advisor, okay? So if you, for those of you, we do see like a de-escalation in financial gains here. We're starting with an eight and we are de-escalating to a five, okay? And then there are five days left or five cards left at the end of the month. So for those of you whose fortune has been, you know, taking a turn for the worse with the Wheel of Fortune financially, I do sense that um, work situations might have you worried. Um, for those of you who have not been successful about finding a job, landing a job, or even knowing how to juggle and balance your financial um, um, situation, I do feel that there is going to be that voice of reason or at least a consultant coming through that can help you navigate the situation, okay, when it comes to financial gains. And I do feel as fire signs in general, you you don't have like a strict control over what what goes out and what comes in so it would be in your best interest if you are facing financial difficulties if there has been a separation from a love partner in your past and you're now you know trying to uh, make through make it through life on your own and a lot of you might have dealt with like um, broken relationships and divorces and separations uh, dividing up the assets and things like that okay on the romantic front as well if this is something that you're not familiar with and you you I don't feel that you're um, I feel you that you're feeling very optimistic you know what you want to do but I do sense that on the financial front um, it would be in your best interest to consult an advisor or at least you know get that whole counseling process in, in order so what I'm sensing is for those of you who are you know like who just graduated from college for example and um, you're at a point in your life where you're feeling very, very enthusiastic. You know, you finally have that college degree, and you're going to go out and find a job. And then as soon as you get into the job uh, market, you're realizing, okay, I need to get an apartment. I have to get all these things lined up in a certain amount of time. And as a result, it might drain your finances, and it might be destabilizing at the end of the month. And seeking the advice like uh, exit loan counseling or something like that is going to be more beneficial for you. And at least it's going to ease a lot of the anxiety that you're feeling about being on your own, okay, financially. I do feel as well that it's, an, it's a very, very positive month in terms of getting your life on track with the chariot card. In terms of de-escalating conflict in your life and reaching a point where, you know, a truce or at least at least reaching a point a state of mind where you're feeling as if you're not going to let other people's opinions their their ways get to you or affect you okay so it's a very very beautiful energy and i do feel this energy is coming through like the that closure that sense of empowerment is coming it's permeating all through the month but more than anything is coming in by the end of the month in which healing has definitely taken place on your end and you're going to be okay all right i also feel that um in general we do have mercury in retrograde and i do sense that the period by the end of the month a lot of secrets are coming out a lot of information is siphoning through i don't feel that there are rumors or anything like that so there's definitely truth to it okay truths to whatever is being revealed um, we have the moon in the reverse position, so which indicates to me a lot of clarity about people, people's motives, about major important um, relationships in your life, and the direction that they're headed. I do feel that um, this is something that I want to warn you about, okay? So this is not going to apply to all, but I do feel for the majority of you who are dealing with a family member, in particular, a Virgo, okay? So the message is coming through. It's looking like this. And uh, what it's indicating to me is this is a very strong karmic relationship that is in your life for a reason. 
And um, this is something that I do feel that you're going to have to learn. Because um, with the moon card in the reverse position, it ind indicates to me that in the past, you've worked really hard at this situation and, and it's very, very one-sided, okay? There's only one person in the picture working at a relationship that's meant for two. And one person is paying off the karmic debt and the other person is basically weaned out of your life. So I do feel the karmic debt is paid and both parties can walk away from one another and it'll be okay. You know, you're not going to cycle back in one another's lives because this is the end of an error. Okay, the, the balance, that karmic balancing act or that karmic scale has been balanced out. So moving forward, it is in your best interest for both parties as well, but mainly for you to let it go. Just let it go, all right? And I know that family member relationships with family members can be karmic. But if they're not serving your greater good, if it's like um, perpetually like riddled by conflict, then you, in order to preserve your mental health and your peace of mind, it is also important for you to let go, okay? I know that as a fire sign, you constantly want to give people the benefit of the doubt and you always want to reach out to people and you don't um, you don't hold grudges you tend to let things go and you want to reincorporate people into your lives even if there have been like falling outs over multiple times multiple falling outs you still want to reach out and you know establish firm connections and have the other person in your life but if it's draining you on a from a mental health standpoint just let it go and I do sense that this situation should be out of your life for good, okay? Because um, in the past, it was very unbalanced. Moving forward, it's also quite unbalanced. And um, you've done a lot of healing work. So it's just you're at a good point right now to move forward rather than to look backwards, okay? So Sagittarius, I'm actually very happy for this energy because I do feel for a lot of you there was an earth sign as um, early as like three months ago. And, and even like... You know, it, it can be a family member. It can be a situation that has dragged on for quite some time and you don't really, you're at your wit's end. And for this month, you're coming into a point of clarity and you're figuring out a resolution in order to make this, in order to get past this and move on with your life. I do see that um, if it's a romantic partner, there is a new partner coming through and it's going to restore your faith in humanity and this person greatly. There's also <clears throat> some type of cosmic energy bringing this person about into your life. This air sign is going to be a lot better for you in terms of um, creating more of a light-hearted and um, mutually beneficial relationship where both parties can help one another restore past hurts, past wounds, past disappointments and restore your faith in relationships in general, okay? Um, aside from that, I do feel that the work situation is definitely gaining traction and momentum. We have the Eight of Pentacles with the Strength card, and I do feel that um, you're going to have to... There's a little bit of a tediousness when it comes to the work environment for this month, and I know that's not something that you're completely happy with, but I do feel that you're just going to... You, you're in a good position now to make a lasting impression on the work front and to also steer things in your favor on the work front. So there is a situation that requires a little bit of a tedious, you know, inve time investment. Make sure you do it right so that you don't have to do it again because we might be in danger of having to go back sift through it and redo some type of a work project okay so keep that in mind it's also like notorious with mercury and retrograde so the first two weeks work very diligently and i do feel you are and you're in a good frame of mind where you're not distracted by relationship issues or whatever it is that is external to the work situation where you're not able to concentrate on work so you're going to be able to concentrate and you're going to be able to do things just fine but i do feel an element of having to go back fix something is in the, the cards if you're not diligent about, you know, not making mistakes and things like that, okay? So be very, very cautious on the work front. Everything else looks very, very stable and relationships themselves look very, very stable. With this new energy coming through, that is providing a different perspective for you to approach your life and you're going to meet a partner, I do feel, for those who haven't already met this person, this person is coming in for this month and an air sign is going to be a very good energy, a balancing energy for you. 
I also feel that um, for those of you who are single and looking, I do sense that um, the work situation might be a little bit, might demand more of your attention. So as a result, romance is going to be um, on the back burner, okay? At the same time, in the past, you might have dealt with a situation where you're feeling like um, you were getting a lot of uh, good reception from the opposite sex or whoever it is that you're dealing with that, or you're dating, whatever genders you're dating. There might have been like a lot of um, attention, a lot of um, a lot of like uh, invitations on the romantic front. It's starting to dwindle down, or at least you're you're narrowing down your options for this month. And I do feel that an air sign is going to stick. Okay, an air sign is going to be somewhat in your midst, and you're going to realize that this is a more stable energy for you, and it's more compatible for you. All right. So Sagittarius, take good care of yourself. Um, get out there and date. And I do feel that, um, you know, reserve some time for work as well, okay? But um, it's a very, very soothing energy. I do feel there is at least one very karmic relationship coming through, a very strong emotional connection, a very responsible relationship coming through for you for this month, okay? So keep um, circulating and keep being your upright self, okay? Because you have very, very good energy and you're not letting people encroach upon your boundaries. And you're calling the shots for the majority of this month, okay? So things are looking very good. So if you'd like a private reading, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. And if you are um, visit my website as well, the scheduling website and everything should be incorporated into the same place. So it's um, a lot easier to book a private reading with me, all right? I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful September.